ritual name was priest hector salva and it still pains me that it this happened in 2009 and you have professional voodoo practitioners professional voodoo practitioners and everyone wants to play these games that they say oh i don't know what happened i don't know what happened anyone who's a freemason an eastern star obia Palero, uh, Mambo Ogon knows exactly what the fuck the he Hector Salva did to that transgender girl. Anyone that actually knows about the darker side of any of magic knows what happened to that girl. She was fed to a spirit. And when you know, when somebody mysteriously dies and they're not charged, and they either get insurance money or they suddenly have a large influx of wealth um, or notoriety or popularity or clients, book deals, movie contracts, um, tons of godchildren. You know, we they talk about this in the music industry all the time. You see, when people in my family die, you notice how my life stays the same? Because, um, or I'm still taking, I'm still trying to deal after financially of taking care of things. It's because um, my family members weren't sacrificed. Right? Now, when you have other people and they all of a sudden they get some huge inheritance. I know plenty, I knew a girl who was in a certain house. She didn't have money to go to a ceremony. She did uh, Maji that her godmother told her to do. And she's in a, a very popular um, societe, and she likes to run her mouth, or she, him, because that person now says they're trans, on um, Tumblr, he, she, they did a spell so they get the money to go to this fet that, her, that their house was doing. Her aunt dies and leaves her a little bit of change. Leaves them a little bit of change. That's perfect example of what happens when you can petition a job. The job will munch, they will eat a person to suck their life force. They will either rapidly deteriorate from cancer, have pneumonia, get in a car accident, have some type of fire, they die, and you are somehow the beneficiary of that person's demise. Very common. Not just in voodoo. Like I said, masonry, Eastern Star, hoodoo practitioners who don't pay their spirit debts. Um, I A lot of people don't like me because I will talk about this. They're like, oh, it demonizes voodoo. I'm, I'm about the no bullshit. I'm telling you what people do. I'm dealing with a client today that their mother died and their Ifa priest, their initiator, their Araba is pulling it on this woman's spirit. Nigerians do this shit. They call it money ritual. It isn't always about um, cut, you know, murdering people and cutting up their body parts to use it for all that, all that other stuff. Just like an American story coven. It's not about sacrificing babies or da, 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 da. You literally can petition on somebody's life and that spirit will take that person's life and they will pass away. And we're not talking about, we ain't talking about years. We're not talking about months. We're talking about days and weeks. And it's real. Very real. And that's why you have practitioners, which I have a lot of pra uh, people come to me to kind of break that shit. Because that's when they say, oh, Iku's following you. It ain't Iku. Somebody put a contract on you with a spirit to take you out. That's what people work in the cemetery do. Or people work with certain spirits, certain Nkisi, certain uh, Lua, certain Ja, Quan. That kind of stuff. Much more common, especially in the Caribbean. 
Most Soviet people know that. A lot of Cubans know that. A lot of people do that, do that shit in Santeria. They do it in Puerto Rico. It happens a lot. When somebody's supposed to pass away or somebody gets real sick and miraculously they are healed and then the dog dies, the dog gets cancer, or the child gets cancer, the mother gets cancer, all that other shit. It's called passing illness, changing of heads. Instead of putting stuff in an animal, like doing a proper sacrifice, proper ritual, they do dirty work where they're passing diseases and passing uh, spirit contract payments to somebody else, and then they pass away. I don't give a shit what Hector has to say. You know, every time Hector and one of his buddies, his all his godparents passed away, and a lot, a lot of um, he's had other members of his house have problems. Friends passed away. His buddy Sean Morris passed away from disease. So, it's not like it's not like the shit is not kept happening. They they kind of show you hints, even though I hate American Horror Story cover, the way they depict the voodoo, but they did show you hints of real things that happen in the spiritual community, especially in New Orleans, especially in Salem, especially in New York, especially in Miami, especially in California. And it's always, oh, we're so sorry. And they're always like, oh, we're so sorry. Remember Dr. E. Dr. E, who was going to be in the house of Kimbanda and was ready to do initiation. Of course, they all work with Goetic experience instead of real Eshings and Pondashiris. You know, Nicolas Fritzfeld's house. He was a Palero. He was a hoodoo person. He had made his own, like, pagan path called the Golden Path. Um, he was 35 years old. He was on top of the world randomly had a heart attack passed away and then all his friends took all his clients his mother ran his store and I think even his store is still mentioned online to this day and the man's been dead for over 10 years who who did he benefit from his death but it seems like his family and all his his friends did interesting a lot of that goes on in this community. But everyone doesn't like me. But I'm not going around taking people out or sacrificing people for a come up. I make my own money off my brain, off my talent, off my creativity. Because I actually have it. A lot of them don't. And that's why when you don't have something and you don't actually have spiritual power... You have to make deals with nefarious entities to get to make a perception in the public that you actually have it. And I know they don't, and that's why they hate me.